Hello lovely people, I'm K3N and in this little video I just want to show you the Marla stitch which I showed you in Monday's video about stitches for Canthro embroidery because some of you are having problems with it. Um, also I've come up with an easier way to start it off because I've been playing since then. So you need to draw yourself two parallel lines and I've made mine about a quarter of an inch apart and I've got my needle threaded with three strands of embroidery floss and a knot and you come up at the base of your left hand line with the lines parallel and uh, sorry not parallel away from you vertical was the word I was looking for and you come up and then you want to go back in to make your first stitch but slightly down maybe sort of an eighth of an inch away from where you came out and then you come up get this out of the way then you come up on the opposite line the right hand line in this case and slightly along so your needle's under a diagonal. Do you see that? Now, before you pull your needle through, you take your thread that's coming out of the cloth and then you wrap it and you always, always, doesn't matter which side you're coming out, you wrap the thread from nearest to you to away from you. So I'm going to, I've got the thread here, I'm going to go around the needle from this side, my side of the needle to away from me and wrap. Now do you see how that's made that twisted shape? It's like a figure eight with an open base. And I'm going to hold that there with my thumb and pull that gently through. So you see I've now got quite an exaggerated, it's like a little head and two legs. Now your needle goes back in, in that triangle, which isn't close, but it will become, you know, you go back in sort of just under where the threads cross. So to the left of where the threads cross which is somewhere up the middle of your line. And then you come out on the left hand line now, the opposite line, again slightly further along. So I'm coming out there, so I need to move myself slightly further along. So my needle's always under an angle. And I pick up my thread and I wrap from towards me to away from me. Hold that with my thumb and pull through. And again, you see you've got that twisted shape, the little round bit where your thread's coming out and this sort of triangular shape at the base. So now you go into that triangle with your needle, come out on the opposite line and along a bit. So your needle's under an angle. Pick your thread up and wrap from towards you to away from you. Whoops, hold it with your thumb and pull through. Now you go into this. If you try and look at each stitch individually, so the last stitch I made, here's the little head of it, and here's the two legs. So you go down between the two legs in that space, and you come up on the opposite line, and a bit further along, and then you wrap from towards you to away from you. When you're first learning, I would say do it on a, a scrap, you know, just on some scrap cloth, draw yourself a couple of long lines. If you make a mistake, don't keep stopping and pulling it out, just keep going. And just keep going until it until it's right, you know, until you get it. That's the best way to practice. If you keep stopping and pulling it out, you know, it's almost like you have to start again every time. So from towards you to away from you. So if you mess up, just go move yourself along a bit, come out again as if you're starting a new thread and have another go. And now I've done that without pulling, wrapping my thread. Whoops, that's because I was talking. And going, crisis averted. And then when it clicks, once you, you think you've got it, do a few more stitches, you know, don't think you've got it and stop and go and do your, get your real piece. That, that's the best way to practice anything. When you think you've got it, just keep doing it for a little bit longer and then your muscle memory will kick in, hopefully. Well, it hasn't obviously done that for me yet because um, I forgot to wrap while I was talking. But it's a beautiful stitch. I really think it is worth persevering and I'm sure you'll all get it in the end. That's the Marla stitch. Now when you want to change thread, if your thread runs out or if you finished your line that you want to make, you just take a little tiny thread uh, stitch anchoring that last loop down. So I just shoot, just like with normal chain stitch. And then when, if I was starting a new thread then I'd come back up in that same spot and carry on. 
So I hope that's helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to you joining me next time for more Cloth Tales. Bye bye.